It's Thursday. That means Fire Stick and Chill for the weekend. I give you one great movie you can watch on your Fire streaming device. And I give you a TV series that is really, really good. And I also give you my best movie pick for you guys to go out in the theater, spend some of that American capitalistic money you done made, chill out and relax. Let's get into it. What's good, YouTube? It's the all-knowing, all-loving, all-feeling, all-seeing, all-powerful, just damn all-everything, sexy as hell host of this Life Games channel, Lamont Tyson, bringing you guys streaming media Monday through Wednesday, stuff that can help you on your streaming devices, whether you got an Avea Shield, Fire TV Stick, Android Box, whatever. I try to help you guys keep those things optimized with the best in streaming content Thursday night. We fire stick and chill where I help you guys drop the, the old habit of menu clicking all day and give you my best movie reports you can use on that fire stick. And then the weekends is all about helping you make money, save money or invest for your future. All right. The first movie we got for you guys to stream on your fire TV stick this weekend is a movie called John Wick. It's got a 7.9 IMDb and part two is coming out next month. You guys take a quick look at the trailer, then we'll jump on into the context of this movie. I lost everything. That dog was a gift from my dying wife. How many? As many as you have. Jack, I thought I let myself in. I knew it. Yeah, I'm thinking. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this movie, first off, it stars Keanu Reeves. A lot of you guys know him from great movies such as Speed, starring that hot Sandra Bullock with her old self. You've also seen him in one of the best series to ever be created, The Matrix. And he's also got some other movies you may not have seen to help give you some context to really make an informed decision on watching this movie. Let's go back and see his history. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a history of Keanu Reeves dating back to 1984. Dude been in the game since 84, hanging in TV, uh, let go the TV series. He's done Youngblood, Acts of Vengeance, Flying, the Brotherhood of Justice movie. And then later on in his career, ladies and gentlemen, you can see he's done Knock Knock, which is an okay movie. Yeah, I'd say it's worth watching, it's okay. And then you go forth, he's done Exposed, he's done Rain, Swedish Dicks. Okay. We'll rock with it. And he's co-starred in this movie with Michael Navisquist. Navisquist. I have to put some kind of French accent on these names, y'all, because these thads mean to get mad as hell at you if you just say their name, Michael Norquist or whatever. They want you to have some accent on their name, put some stank on that name. Let's check out what he's done. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I give you these backgrounds on the actors because they might have played in something else to help you make a better informed decision about watching it. I've never heard of this guy. And so going through his filmography, you can tell he's from he's from somewhere else. And a lot of his stuff is done in foreign movies or whatever. Uh, Karma or Treacha, whatever that is. Jim and Patrina, Pass, um, Jerusalem, Tic Tac. He's done later on in his career Days and Nights in 2014, TV series 100 Codes, and A Serious Game. That's, the, that's Keanu Reeves' co-star in this movie. Now let's check out the director. Another foreign name, so if I butcher his name, y'all just bear with me. Chad Stalinsky is the director of John Wick. Let's check him out. Now going through him, it definitely makes you want to see this movie through this director. So he's done Point Break. Way back in 1990, it was a decent movie. I saw that Escape from LA. And then as you go up on his filmography, Tomorrow Never Dies. That was a good movie. Picking up pieces, The Replacements, The Matrix. That might be how he met Keanu. And as we move on into the director's career list, you see he's done The Odds, Iron Man 2, Stunt Coordinator in Expandables. I love that movie. Tron Legacy. The Blitz, uh, The Mechanic. So he's worked with Jason Statham too, ladies and gentlemen. Spendables 2, The Safe, Hunger Games, Sherlock Holmes, The Wolverine, Red 2, Hunger Games Catching Fire, 
This movie is something you want to watch, guys, because this director has done, this is a litany of great movies. So let's go ahead and give you synopsis on the movie. So to get you guys done quick with this one so you can watch it, John Wick is basically a story of a hitman who had a sterling record, ladies and gentlemen. The hitman is Keanu Reeves. This guy goes on a tirade like you've never seen. He didn't miss a shot, had a great career at killing folks, taking them out. You wouldn't even see him coming, you're dead, all right? So in true form, when you're doing something dirty, at some point in time, your conscience start bothering you. You want to get out the game. You know, made enough money, it's time to retire. That's exactly what he did. He said, enough is enough, I'm retiring. All right, so one of the crime bosses is like, oh, hell no. Where you think your ass going? You ain't going nowhere. So imagine you trying to get out of anything that has created mischief and mayhem, and one of the underlords decides they want to bring you back. So that should give you the context of understanding what did they do to make him come back? Did they get his wife? Did they kill his dog? Did they rob his bank accounts? They basically try to take this man's life away from him to make him come back and do their bidding. More and more stuff is inside this movie. It is a must see for you five stick guys. Highly recommend it. IMDb gave it about a 7.9. I'm gonna give it a life gain stamp of approval and we're gonna move on to the next movie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I said movie. What I meant to say was TV series. So this is a really something you can binge on this weekend. And it's the TV series Shooter. Um, it originated from a movie done by Mark Wahlberg not too long ago called Shooter. Take a quick look at the trailer. We'll come on back with the commentary. Get you guys set. For the assassination. Mrs. Swagger, do you still believe your husband was innocent? He knows his family's exposed. Get hurt to talk. Patient. He's committed. I need to find the actual shooter. Once I find him, I'll know how they do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this movie stars Ryan Felipe, who is a heartthrob to a whole lot of women, even my wife. I'd be ready to just kick her in the kneecaps every time he playing something. Acting career wasn't that great in the beginning, but he's made a whole lot of strides, kind of like Channing Tatum. Now let's kind of see what this man has done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, his career goes back until the soap opera days. One of my grandma's favorite soap operas. Look at this. One Life to Live, way back in 1992 and 93. Then he's done Secret Lakes, um, Perry Mason, another one of the old folks' favorite, Deadly Invasion, The Killer Bee Nightmare. I don't even think that's worth your time. Then as we move on into his career, he comes up with Reclaim, Catching Hell, Secrets and Lies, Return to Cinder, Robot Chicken, and then on to Shooter, all right? Let's see who his co-star is. He is co-starred by Chantel Van Satin. Remember, I gotta put the accent on it. Van Satin, Chantel Van Satin. I've never heard of her. Definitely something to watch on the screen. Let's kind of see what she's done in her career. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this young lady started with Steel Angels, Three Wise Guys, Savage Spirit, Spellbound, You and I. Later on in her career, she's worked in the Night Shift the TV series, the Messenger TV series, the Flash TV series, which is a decent superhero TV series for TV. It's pretty decent. Rush Hour TV series, Timeless, and now she's in Shooter alongside Ryan Felipe. Let's check out the producer slash director. Producer is John Haveling, Haveland, something like that. Bruh, don't, don't get mad on me for butchering your name. He didn't want to put his picture up here, so we have no idea what he looks like. I'm sure if we dig hard enough, we can find it. But look at what he's done. He's done Underworld Awakening and Shooter, um, Flattered in 1995. Here's the rest of what he's done. LAX, the TV series, Daybreak, The Shield, which a lot of you guys love, Trust Me, and Donkey Punch. So that gives you context for the actors, director, and producer. You've seen something up here that they've done in the past that you like. This is definitely something you might want to invest in. So let's kind of talk about the story. Shooter is kind of similar to John Wick. It's just that they expanded this thing out into a TV series. Instead of this young man, Ryan Felipe, who plays the main character, um, being a former hitman, he was the number one sniper in the government. Anytime they needed somebody to be killed from a three mile radius, this man was called into the job. And what happens in the story is, he's living his life, he's gotten out of the military, he's married to Chantel Van, whatever I said her name was, 
living their life, investing, got a lake house, chilling, doing all that. Well, Omar Epps, who was also in this thing, which I didn't mention, was his best friend, good friend of his in the military, whatever. And Omar gets himself into a little bit of debt, signs on with the wrong people, Russian folks at that, hint, hint to what's going on in America now, and they plot and kill one of the presidents of the world. And what happened? They framed it on this guy. And in the movie, in the, in the show, he's called Bobby Lee Swagger. So they framed it on him, he gets arrested, he busts out, and throughout the whole series, you're going through all the mayhem of, you gotta catch him, you know he's talking to his family, you know he's got some help outside, all while he's trying to solve the case of who really shot this president that went down. I don't want to tell you guys which president was killed, save a little something for you guys to watch, but this is definitely well worth the time. IMDB gave this one the eight as a TV series, and I think you guys should watch it. It is definitely binge worthy for this weekend. Now we're going to move on to the bonus material, the movie you should go see in the theater. If by now you haven't seen Hidden Figures, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what you're doing. Nine on IMDB scale. Take a quick look at the trailer and then we're going to get into the context of this movie and why you should see it and the great message that they put in this movie. You have identification on it? NASA, sir. NASA had no idea they heard. There are quite a few women. If you were a white male, would you wish to be an engineer? I wouldn't have to. I'd already be one. We all get there together or we don't right, get Ladies there. and gentlemen, Hidden Figures, definitely worth the money. Stars my homegirl Taraji P. Henson, who is famously known for playing Cookie Lions in Empire, but she has a, a little bit more of an expanded career too, and we'll take a look. This young lady started doing her thing way back in 1997 in the parenthood. She was in Sister to Sister. She's done ER Saved by the Bell. Now by this point in time, I'm in love with this woman. She is my Hollywood girlfriend. Then something happened, she just fell off the map for me and I fell in love with uh, Sanaya Latham. Taraji, if you watch this, I still love you if you want to meet me, but Sanaya Latham is my current Hollywood girl. And going up, she's done Felicity, Pacific Blue, Satan School for Girls, on to now where she's done No Good Deeds, Season of Love, Top 5, she's done Ice Age voiceover, she's been in The Simpsons, Hidden Figures, and of course y'all know her for Cookie Lions and Empire. And she's co-starred with the uh, immaculate timeless actress. She's in this with Miss Octavia Spencer, who on screen looks to be older than Taraji, but chick is born in 1970. Let's take a look at her career. She has played in so many great roles. I wonder why we don't see her more, because she is a leading lady, ladies and gentlemen. She's been in A Time to Kill, The Sixth Man, Sparkler, Moesha, the TV series, ER, the TV series, Brimstone, the TV series, Never Kiss, dating back to 1996. And as we move forward in her career, she's done Break a Hip Hop, Fathers and Daughters, The Free World, Zootopia, The Great Gilly Hopkins, Car Dolls, Allegiant, Bad Santa, Hidden Figures, which is what we're covering now. A great, great filmography career for this young lady. She should be a more of a leading lady in more movies. But let's check out the director. This is Your director is Theodore Malife. I hope that's right. Theodore Malife. And what do we have on him? This is the filmography on the director. He's done Part Day, Winding Rose, A Dating Story, Joe Killer, Tricks, Morph Man, The Story of Bob, Game of Life, The Beneficiary, I Want Candy, St. Vincent, Up to Now, Hidden Figures. I haven't seen hardly any of that. If you guys have seen it, you like that, that might be something to look into. But definitely start with Hidden Figures if you've never seen any of his work. So let's kind of talk about the story. All right, in case you didn't know, based on the trailer and what you've already read, this movie sets back during the time of the space race when civil rights really wasn't civil rights. And at that time, African-American women was probably on the bottom of the totem pole of human beings, ladies and gentlemen. They not only were they women, but they was minorities on top of that. So this movie goes in depth about the way they was treated as having smart minds, smart mathematical minds, all three of these women. It's based on a true story. These women really did exist. They got medals and stuff and presidential awards. And it chronicles how not only did they have for, had to fight for minority rights, they also had to fight for feminine rights, ladies and gentlemen. This is a time when you really expect the women to just stay their asses in that kitchen, taking care of them babies, 
cooking your apple pies, shut the hell up, and that's it. These women were great pioneers, and it goes into how they had struggles just using the bathroom. Not only did they not have a bathroom for women in certain areas, but they had to go and use the colored bathroom. Uh, it talks about just kind of the divide between black men and how we felt about women having jobs doing things so technical as space. But it also gives a good look at what happens when you have people that love people that say, I could care less about those color lines, ladies and gentlemen, and help these women get to where they was at and make history. One thing I really want to say to men out there, men, don't feel threatened by a woman who is powerful or has a lot of intelligence. You know, a lot of men, when they see a woman excelling, and right now women are kicking men's butt in education, especially in the African-American community, you tend to get scared like the woman is gonna leave you. Fellas, if you uplift your ladies, it can only do anything but help uplift you guys together. So when you see a woman who has a great talent, don't just encourage her to be a house mom. They've been doing that for years. That's natural to them. That's never gonna leave them. They can do that plus other things. Probably the strongest species on the planet is a woman and they can do it all. So uplift them. Don't try to hold them back. By uplifting them, you uplift all of us. You uplift yourself, your household, and the human race in general because women are extremely smart. They can handle a lot and they take care of their business. So that's my PSA for men. Uplift your women. You know, you're not going to lose your testosterone by uplifting women. If anything, it's going to make that woman feel more emboldened to you because you had the heart to show her you got her back in her time of need when she's struggling trying to make it to the top. That's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. These are my fire stick and chill weekend picks plus my theater movie picks. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself that life game. I always check my video description box below this video. Do business with me. Do business with my affiliates. And until the next Sexy as Hell video, I will see you guys, my YouTube subscribers.